Big game tonight, Joe. Welcome back, everyone. This game between the Rangers, the Islanders, the first game of the Tri-State Challenge presented by Mazda. Post captioning is always brought to you by the New York Lottery. Hey, you never know. Check out our Audi goaltender matchup. Henrik Lundqvist, who did not have a good game against Toronto, right back in there. And you know he'll be charged up to shut down the Islanders. Yarrow Halak, with one game under his belt as an Islander, gets the start tonight. The two fourth lines are starting in this one. Tanner Glass has 12 hits on the season already in three games. Matt Martin, who leads the league, it seems like, every year in hits, has nine. They're both on the ice. And Cal Clutterbuck got the first hit of the game in with a hit on Kevin Klein. Kevin Klein opening up with Mark Stahl on defense. You see the lineups coming in, presented by Infinity. Luxury cars that deliver inspired performance. Or some good early hitting. That was Klein on Clutterbuck. Glass had a hit down the other end. There's a penalty coming up. This is going to be kneeing, I think. This is going to be Casey Sezikis yeah. on, on Kevin, Kevin Klein, Klein, who was slow to get up and limping. Now Klein coming all the way over the other side. Mm. Upset with what happened, and he bumps Sezikis and says something to him. Referees tonight, Dave Jackson and Greg Kimberly. The linesman, Derek Amell and Matt McPherson. The Rangers will get the first power play. Sezikis will go off and Klein still slow to get to the Ranger bench. Here it comes again. Watch the left knee. Oh boy, he leads. He leads with the left knee. Watch how he just sticks out going forward and gets Klein in the left knee. That's a dangerous heat hit. And so the Rangers get the first chance. Rangers haven't had a power play goal yet. The penalty killing for the Islanders has struggled in the early part of the season. Rangers power play is presented by Volkswagen. Rangers have Ryan McDonough up top. Beats Rick Nash. Nash shoots and it's blocked. Ryan Malone is set up in front. See, his first action is a New York Ranger, and it's on the power play. Halak for the save and holding on. Rangers going with four forwards, one defenseman for the power yeah. play. Well, we, we've talked about the different injuries they've had. They lose Dan Boyle, of course, that has been a power play specialist throughout his career. He's out with a broken hand. And, of course, Derek Stepan, the importance of him being on the power play. So they've tried to get real basic. A 1-4, when they get a chance to shoot, they're going to take the shot and look for a rebound. Toward the net, Malone tried to backhand it in front to Nash. Here's McDonough to Nash. Rangers moving it nicely. That pass tipped away by Kuhlman for the Islanders. Yep. Kuhlman and Josh Bailey on for the Islanders with Thomas Hickey and Travis Hamannick. Pardon me, Sam. That play doesn't work very well because the Islanders play tight. That pass got through to St. Louis, but he missed the shot. Just missed it. It was a hard pass from Rick Nash. You know, we talk so often about different teams and how aggressive they are in the penalty kill. When the Islanders are in their zone, they're not that aggressive, so you got to take the shot. Lee Stempniak on, Matt Zuccarello, Derek Broussard, Chris Kreider. Four forwards, and the man back is still Ryan McDonough. Broussard looking for an opening. And the feet of Stempniak saved by Halak. Nice setup by Broussard to Lee Stempniak. Zuccarello to McDonough, cross to Broussard. Now to Zuccarello, takes the shot, Halak can save, Pucks moves to the crease, and kicked out, and lifted by Griffin Reinhardt, the rookie defenseman for the Islanders. Yeah, that's good puck movement, good opportunities, and Halak off to a good start. Zuccarello fires into the corner, off the pass from Lundquist. And the puck taken back by Stepniak to Dan Girardi, who's on. Set up for Girardi, stick save, Halak. Lassard tried to move it ahead, went off of Boychuk to Nick Letty. There's another veteran defenseman picked up by the Islanders, and an important pickup. Letty helped the Chicago Blackhawks win the Stanley Cup two seasons ago. He can really skate. He did a good job on the power play. Lead to Nash. Teams are at full strength. Save one by Halak. Another save by Halak to the shot by Mark Stahl. 
A lot being tested early, and he has come up big. He really has. Those are excellent saves by Halak, but the Rangers move the puck around really well. Here's Broussard with one setup. This is step down right side of your screen. The quick wrist shot. We saw him score on that play against St. Louis. That time, Halak with the save, and Zuccarello after Broussard with another setup has the quick shot. And your Halak is there as well. He signed as a free agent in the offseason. Four-year contract. Face-off win. Mark Stahl works it down the boards around to Carl Haglund. Haglund on with Kevin Hayes, the center on this line, and Matt Zuccarello. Rangers had four shots on goal on their power play. Tavares is passed for Corey Conacher. It is deflected away, cleared down the ice by Haglund. It's an icing on the Rangers. We are 3-13 into the game. And there's no score. Elaine Vigneault talked a lot about the Rangers' play without the puck. Without the puck. And, and what we've seen in the last couple of days, or last couple of games, I should say, you know, with the opposition having so much time, they forecheck with five players. They defend with five players. That's the way, when they're playing their best, the way they operate, we haven't seen it. Kyle Oposo winds up. Big drive and a save. First shot on goal by the Islanders. Tavares gets there. Tavares, Oposo, and Conacher, the top line for the Islanders. Rangers take it away. Rangers have Kevin Hayes on with Ryan Malone and Carl Haglin. Play is listed up for icing on the Islanders. The head coach of the Islanders is Jack Capuano. This is a very important season for him. You know what's interesting, Sam, is that the Islanders did not come over here to skate this morning right. and stay here. They skated over in their building, and then the players came over. They trickled in later on during the day. Nash, Anthony Duclair, and Marty St. Louis, the line for the Rangers, with John Moore and Michael Koska making his Rangers debut, wearing number four. University of Massachusetts, four years. Spent some time last season with Chicago and Tampa Bay. Started his NHL career with Toronto. Take away by Tavares. And he skates it clear. Moore is back. Two on one developing. Tavares and Oposo. And Tavares fell down. He tried to cut in. He tripped over the stick. It was a two on one. He turned on the speed. They broke away. Costa was the defenseman back. And when Tavares tried to make the play, he actually stepped on the stick. Here's the play at the point. Pardon me, that was Costa. This was John Moore that was back. Now watch Moore stick when he goes down. And right there, you see Tavares tried to hop over the stick and caught, and caught the stick. Here it is again. Makes the move and then gets tripped down. I think he argued for a call and probably had a pretty good argument. Let's go down to the ice level. John Ginone between the benches. What did you hear, John? Yeah, Jack Capuano wanted to know why that wasn't a penalty, and the referee said he skated into the stick. That was his explanation. All right. Thanks, John. That's the way to clear it up, and that's the explanation the coach has got. Here's Ryan Strom, number 18, with a one-handed, the right-handed shot. That was stopped by Lundqvist. Lundqvist trying to find the puck and deflected out of play. Off the netting, we are 4-27 into the game. Rangers had the first six shots on goal. Islanders have had the last three. He's had the power play opportunity. What a start for Brock Nelson, former first rounder. He's a big kid, Sam. He's put on a good 10 pounds since the offseason. He worked a lot on his legs. He wanted to be uh, a better skater and a quicker skater. And they say he might be the best player in camp right from day one for the Islanders. And what a start, six points in two games. He had 26 all of last year in 72 games. Franz Nielsen into 51 in the corner. The puck comes toward the front, and John Moore cleared his side. Tanner Glass, number 15 on for the Rangers. With Ryan Malone and Dominic Moore, the center on this line. Moore. Here's Nielsen trying to play it back. Was blocked nicely by Malone. Shot toward the net, a save. Malone might have deflected that shot out of the corner. And Halak with another good save. Ryan Malone very active in the front of the net. And that's what you want from him. You know, and Reinhardt, the rookie, did a real nice job not allowing Tanner Glass to get his stick on the puck on the rebound. Here it is again. And there's Tanner Glass. Look at number eight, Reinhardt. Has his stick. And just takes him out of the play. That's a good play by the youngster. 
comes from pretty good bloodlines. Uh, yes, sense? he does. His father Paul was an excellent defenseman in the league for many years. And his brother up in Buffalo. Yeah, his brother up in Buffalo. And there's one more too that's coming along that's supposed to be very good. Wow. The pressure by Carl Haglin on Johnny Boychuk. The puck cleared out of the zone. Costco going back. One for reverses to him. Casey Sezik is on a four-check for the Islanders. Here's Kevin Hayes in his second game. In his NHL debut on Sunday in front of a lot of family and friends that came down from the Boston area. Now, Lane Vigneault was saying, you know what, if our team would play a little better, it would help out Hayes. Yeah. You know, who we thought, you know, did some real good things. Zuccarello, all the way across to Hayes. Lost control momentarily. Fired it into the crease and blocked away. And brought out by Corey Conacher. I think he was so anxious to shoot the puck, Sam, that he, he mishandled the puck. McDonough, pressured by Conacher. He leaves it for Dan Girardi and gets it back. It was blocked good play by Oposo, and then Girardi was able to move it out to Nash. But Nash moves in on Thomas Hickey. On goal, it goes in! Rick Nash does it again! Four straight games with a goal! It's 1-0 Rangers! Just keep getting him the puck. When you've got somebody that's scoring from anywhere, keep giving them the puck, and how about the drive to the net? But it all starts with the defensive play in their own zone. Marty St. Louis is there. He stays with it, gets a little help from Girardi, and now here comes Nash with a little bit of time and space. Look at how he's just driving, determined to get to the net. And he's even though he's had a bad angle, when you're hot, keep shooting the puck. He does. Halak should have stopped it. He didn't. The Rangers take the lead. And that one is for baby McLaren. McLaren Nash. Now you got to get the kid a hat trick if you really love him. <laughs> you know? You really love him. Right. You got to get the hat trick. One for the baby, one for his wife, Jessica, oh, and one right. for him. Yeah, yeah, you, all right. <laughs> Rick Nash, five goals on the season. John Moore comes in, Rangers the lead, one nothing. Reinhardt checking Moore, Moore in deep with a puck. Stepniak puts it out in front of him by Kreider out of the zone, recovered by Derek Broussard. What a start to the season for Rick Dash. Play whistled down, it's an icing on the Rangers. Nash is fifth unassisted at 621. Now the Rangers look like a different team than we've seen the last couple of games, just from the standpoint of they're forechecking as a group of five. They're getting it in. They're moving. They're they're doing everything with a great deal of intensity. And in their defensive zone, thus far they haven't given the they haven't given the Islanders much. I thought in that game Sunday and watching the video, Joe, that uh, they did some of that early in the game. Early on, sustain it. Right, early on and. Uh, and Reimer, James Reimer, was good in goal for Toronto. I think the Rangers had the first six shots in that game. But the first six or seven minutes, they had some jump to their game. And then they took a penalty. And that's something that they can't do in this game because we've seen them take penalties in these first three games that have changed the momentum of the game. And this Islander power play is dangerous. Nielsen on the faceoff for the Islanders. Kevin Klein and Mark Stahl paired on defense. Kreider clears it out to Brassard, who sends in. And the Rangers change. Puck brought ahead by Nick Letty. Letty spent one year at the U, Joe. He did, yes. In fact, he was the first-round draft pick of, of Minnesota, of the Wild, and they traded him to Chicago. And he's just kept developing. Still a young, young player at 23. Nice pass to Hayes. But that was blocked by Nick Letty at the line. Well, he's won a championship. With Chicago, learned under some pretty good defensemen there. Nice play by Hayes, two on one with Hagman. Hayes fakes, trying to go around the defenseman. Johnny Boychuk. Here's Zuccarello. Brings it back to Hagman. Costco with a shot blocked on the way in by Nielsen. Played by Zuccarello. Boychuk checking him. Zuccarello's pass blocked. Costa's in deep to play the puck. Haglund behind the net. 
to Costco. That might have been a pass for Zuccarello at the top of the crease. It was. I'm not sure Zuccarello was ready for it. It was an alert play by Costco. Moore to Costco. Back the other way off the boards. Johnny Boychuk chips it off the glass. And the glass is there. Sezik has moved it. Stopped by Ryan Malone. Rangers have been very good in the neutral zone. Boychuk. And Martin trying to clear it out. Sezik is that was stopped by John Moore. There's another play, Sam. You just mentioned it. They make another one. They're trying not to let this Islander team carry the puck over the blue line and make plays. They're a dangerous group up front. Nice pass from Martin to Oposo. Moves in and shoots deflected into the corner. Stahl stayed with Oposo on the play. Stahl and Klein. Stahl moves it up to Boards. Nice play to get it to Tanner Glass. Dominic Moore dumps it in. Rangers change. 9.15 gone by. First period. Rangers a 1-0 lead on the goal by Rick Nash. Travis Hamannick for the Islanders. One place to Ryan McDonough. And it's tipped out of the zone by Anthony Duclair. Hamannick to Hickey. He missed it. St. Louis to the front for Nash off his stick. And a good idea. You can see. And Rick Nash talked about it in the pregame show that he... And Marty San Louis developing good chemistry, but a penalty coming up, Joe, against the Rangers. McDonough. So the Islanders get a power play. Rick Nash has given the Rangers a 1-0 lead. John Giannone back at the Garden between the benches. If you're wondering what baby McLaren Nash is going to get as a literal birthday present, here it is. This is the puck that Rick Nash used to score the goal to give the Rangers a 1-0 lead. It was actually Ryan Malone who went to the official and said, hey, can you go get that puck? They had already put it back into the penalty box area where they keep them frozen. They were going to use it again, but then they pulled it out, gave it to the Ranger bench. I was able to get it, and I'll slip it over to Rick Nash at some point tonight, guys. Hey, we've got Lee Stepniak in studio between periods. He'll be talking without. John, make sure you autograph that puck for <laughs> McLaren. I'm not going to touch it beyond this. Power play Islanders, four for eight in the first two games, show. Mm -hmm. Shot by Boychuk went wide. Tavares, Nielsen, Oposo, Nelson, and Boychuk. Take away by Haglin. Haglin and Dominic Moore on for the Rangers with Mark Stahl. And Dan Girardi. Sam, the thing I know is when I watch their power plays, how quickly they move the puck. And then when they get a chance to shoot it, they don't hesitate. Here's Brock Nelson. Tavares tried to set up a postal that was tipped by Girardi. Girardi, another sliding block. That pass for a postal went off his stick. Boychuk. Now a postal. Back to Boychuk. Big drive, he scores! Brock Nelson was in front, but there's that big shot that Joe talked about. Johnny Boychuk drives it, and the Islanders have their fifth power play goal of the season. That is point number six for Boychuk, 55. I mean, this thing is just rifled in there, just inside the post. Boy, look at his stick. It doesn't come back much. Boom, about halfway. And he just fired that thing. I don't think it hit anything. I think it just went straight in. And Boychuk is thinking of one thing. You get time to shoot it, take the shot. You got big Brock Nelson in front screening. And that was quick. The Islanders come right back. Well, it's something you mentioned right away, Joe, about the change of momentum by giving the Islanders a power play. Now, now the Rangers have to try and get that, get that right back. Pressure by Chris Kreider on Griffin Reinhardt. Reinhardt, number eight, moves it up the boards. Reinhardt, the Islanders' first-round pick in 2012, the fourth pick overall. 20 years old. Number eight. Chipped into the Ranger zone. Chased out by Matt Martin. Good hit there by John Moore. Ryan Strait got a piece of that, and the Islanders able to turn it. Knocked down with a glove by Kevin Klein. Rangers play it. It's a hand pass, and play stops with 8.49 remaining in the first period. Rangers had a 1-0 lead. Johnny Boychuk with his second goal of the season tied it at 1. 
Hard Facts are brought to you by Frost Food, Coors Light. Longest goal streaks to start a Rangers season. Rick Nash, four games, five goals. Bernie Nichols, Anders Hedberg, Mike McEwen, Bob Nevin, Bill Cook. Great names in the Rangers past. Rangers present is Rick Nash with a four goal, four game goal scoring streak to start the season. 1 1 the score. Stahl and Koska paired on defense here. And pass taken away by Hamannick. Gives it right back to Koska. Koska's 28 years old. He's played 63 NHL games. This number 64. His first is the Ranger. Stahl playing it ahead. Hamannick. And again, Rangers continue to do a good job in the neutral zone. Mikhail Grabowski, now Ryan Strom. Here's Grabowski's pass off the skate. Kept in by Hickey. Now low the backhander high by Grabowski. And Claire for Nash who clears the zone. Kamenek. Fine. Goes back to get it. Nielsen on the four check for the Islanders. Now John Moore. That's tipped ahead by Haglund. Back to get it is Borchuk. Josh Bailey. Side up by Kevin Klein. Now Haglin all over Nielsen. Letty playing it off the boards. This will be an icing on the Islanders. 7.35 to go here in the first Thursday night on MSG. It's the Rangers and the Carolina Hurricanes. Live coverage begins at 6.30 with Visa Rangers game night. Rangers and Hurricanes Thursday night hockey on MSG. Presented by Ram. The Hurricanes, Eric Stahl not playing tonight. He's hurt. Jordan Stahl, long-term injury. Right. And Jeff Skinner is out. Right. Man, that's a lot of it's, serious yeah, injuries for yeah. that team. They lost their first two games against these Islanders. He stepped the act. He's had a good start to his Rangers career. Lines it for Broussard. Broussard wraparound stopped by Halak. Stempniak is there, it's knocked away by Bailey. Long shot by McDonough, blocked in the circle. Played toward the front again. Stempniak's one-hand pass intercepted by Boychuk. And taken back, good effort by Broussard. Chased down by Stempniak. Boychuk tripping it ahead. Stopped by Broussard. McDonough across to Girardi. Good job by this. Unit of five, keeping the puck in the Islander zone. Stempniak got knocked down by Nielsen. Broussard shot blocked by Boychuk. And the Islanders able to clear. Strong shift for the Rangers. I'll tell you who made the defensive play was Kuhleman, who's a good defensive player. Stempniak was trying to get to a loose puck in front, was right there trying to get the shot. And Kuhleman used his stick on the stick of Stempniak to prevent him from getting a shot. That's a good shift by him. There he is, working hard, throws it in front or behind the net. Eventually, it'll come in front. Now, watch his opportunity coming up right there. Wants to get a shot, and Kuhlman comes back, 86 in white, and makes a good defensive play. He was another one of the free agent signings by the Islanders. Rangers shot the puck in. It was whistled down, originally called an icing, and now they've uh, moved the face off the center ice. Rangers come right back in. Shot by Tanner Glass goes wide. Here's Michael Koska. Rangers have Dominic Moore with Glass and Malone. Stall blocked it along the boards. It's cleared out. Koska goes back for it. And Martin on the four check for the Islanders. Stall for Tanner Glass. Hamadik takes it away. There's Matt Martin moving in with Kyle Poso. Oposo shoots off the post. Stay down. Rising shot that rang off the post and went across the ice. Yeah, Lundqvist didn't see it. Koska went down to block it and screen Lundqvist. Having it stay stolen by Nash. He moves it with Sandalwee. Gets it back. Sandalwee had the pass in his skates and he couldn't see up the shot. That pass intended for Oposo. McDonough was able to get a piece of it. Lundqvist moves it for St. Louis. Tavares gets it back to Hickey. Blocked, blocked in front by McDonough. Now come the Rangers. 
Saint-Louis against Travis Hickey. He shoots save. What a move by Marty Saint-Louis. Had it on the backhand, moved it to the forehand. A lock with a save, 5-11 to go in the first. For our EA player profile. And today's profile is Kevin Hayes, one of the new New York Rangers who made his NHL debut on Sunday, drafted by Chicago. Played at Boston College successfully with a national championship and a finalist for the top player in college hockey, the Hobie Baker Award. You know what he's got to learn? He's got to learn to quit being so unselfish. He tries so hard to set up his, his teammates, and he's got an opportunity to shoot. He's got a good shot. He's got to take that once in a while. Teams, if, yeah, you, if you don't take the shot when you get the chance, when you're a defenseman, they scout so well, they just start playing the pass, and they won't, they won't worry about you taking the shot if you're, not, if you're never a threat. Shot by Kevin Klein was blocked. Hayes is on the ice here with Haglund and Zuccarello. There's Kevin Hayes. Haglund putting it in front. It's knocked away by point guard Zuccarello. Battles with Nick Letty. Dabrowski made a nice play to get it to Brock Nelson. Rangers take it back again. Good play in the neutral zone. He's scoring on the island a goal, by the way. Boychuk is second from Oposo and Nielsen at 10-31, a power play goal. Game tied 1-1. Rangers 10 shots, Islanders 5. Ryan Strong. Saved by Lundquist, knocked away by Klein. Hayes trying to bring it out. It's taken back by Grabowski. Now Strong for Grabowski. Tavares has just come on. Klein against Tavares. Tavares. Trying to put it in front. He's double teamed by John Moore. Now Oposo, Islanders have made a good change here. They've gotten their top line on, not against the Rangers' top defensive pair. That went off of Lundquist, and Hayes gets to it. Good job by the Islanders. And the Rangers able to move it down and get the change that they want, getting McDonough and Girardi on the ice. Corey Conacher, nice move past McDonough, saved by Lundquist. Oh, the Rangers needed that. What a move by Corey Conacher. Tavares, backhander, is blocked by Girardi. How about that by Oposo? What a burst. Long shot by Brian Strait went wide. And McDonough plays it up the boards. You don't often see that. Somebody how about, beat how about McDonough never? on the play. How about never? Wow. I see that on the Rangers. Yeah, he started his career with Tampa Bay. And the Rangers got him in the offseason. Here comes the speed. Look at the move. Fake to the outside and then right back to the inside. And Lundquist, remember that save. Big save by Lundquist. Wow, what a move. Tremendous speed by Conacher. Pretty good pickup for the Islanders to put speed in their lineup, Joe. And uh, he's fitting right in with that uh, number 91 mm. in the center iceman. And Oposo on the other side. It's a good opportunity for Conacher to play with two highly skilled players. Done able to get it to Kreider. Kreider sends it in. Three minutes to go in the first. Pass the lock. Chased down by Broussard. Rangers in the middle of a change. Rick Nash has come on. Nice play in the corner by Nash. Who has the Rangers goal. Having it able to move it. Stopped by Stahl. Nash trying to get rather. Duclair trying to get it in front. Stop Nash battling Hamannick. Strong battle. Nielsen moves it. Blocked by Stahl. Hamannick again. Now Nielsen able to get it to Hickey. And Hickey works it out of the zone. Jack Bailey getting it to Nielsen. Back to Bailey. Nash picks up Josh Bailey. And a good play in front. Costa able to move it out. San Luis lost control. She was hooked a little bit by Sezikis. Sezikis goes in. Saved by Lundqvist, the penalty called. The Sezikis was tripped is the call. Looked like he was hooked a little bit, but tripping is the initial call by the referee. Yeah, part of their meetings this morning where the Rangers don't turn it over in the neutral zone. Well, they do here. St. Louis has it, loses it. Watch how quickly the Islanders move the puck and go the other way. Bang, one pass. And with that speed they have up front, again, Lundqvist is forced to make Another good save. Zizekas was tripped on the way in, got up, and still 
able to get a good chance. The Islanders were asking uh, about the possibility of a penalty shot, but uh, we saw Sezikis bounce right back up and move yeah. in and get a good chance, scoring chance on Lundqvist. Stall for tripping at 17.49. Islanders second power play, one for one. And it's kept in by Boychuk. Nice play. Rangers have Broussard and Haglin on the ice. That pass out of the zone with McDonough and Gelati. Poso with Haglin all over him. Nice play by Carl Haglin. Tanner Glass comes on with Lee Stempniak for the Rangers. Islanders have Ryan Strom. His pass was tipped. Strom able to take it back. Boychuk knocked it down, and a penalty called on Boychuk. Great effort by Lee Stempiak, drew a penalty on the play. Now the puck was bouncing. Girardi had a problem with the puck first, bouncing, and then this one. Difficult play, and then Boychuk does the right thing. Interference on him as Stempniak put pressure on, and so that negates the Islander power play. Team skate four aside. And provided there are no other penalties called, the Rangers will wind up with a short power play for 35 seconds. It's been a good period, hasn't it? Yes. I mean, really good. Shots are 10-9 favoring the Rangers. Good action at both ends. Nash with a shot save. Halak couldn't control the rebound. Boy, how about that? I mean, he just gets it on his stick, and he just turns and fires it. Now he's going to yeah. have to sit this one out. Nash took down Nielsen in a penalty upcoming. Delayed penalty called. Halak gets to the bench. Extra skater on for the Islanders. Tavares sends it in on goal. Knocked away by Lundqvist. Tavares chases it down. Rangers touch up, and the... Islanders go back on a power play on the penalty to Rick Nash for tripping. Boy, and Rick Nash just prior to this. Look at the effort there. Kicks it and then turns. Not much room, but still able to get a good shot on goal. And then this takes down Nielsen, and so he'll sit this one out. And with 1.11 to go in this first period in a tie game, the Islanders with a four on three. 18.49, the... Penalty time on Rick Dash for tripping. One minute to go in the stall penalty. A minute 35 to go in the Boychuk penalty. And Rick Dash has two minutes on his. Four on three Islanders. Moore needs to win a faceoff. He does, but Brock Nelson jumped in and did a good job getting it back. Islanders have four forwards on the ice. Oposo, Nelson, Strom with the puck. Now Tavares. Last minute. Rangers with McDonough and Girardi and Dominic Moore. A post went down front, tip just wide by Nelson. Nice pass from Kyle Oposo. Ryan Strom. Oposo feeds it up. Finds the shooting lane saved by Lundquist. And the Rangers able to clear it out. Boy, good save through traffic by Lundquist and an excellent clear by Girardi. Oposo to Strom. Tavares. McDonough is there. Tavares gets it back. Tavares looking down low, Oposo. Back to Tavares, saved by Lundqvist with the left hand, cleared by Girardi. In the last five minutes, Lundqvist has made three outstanding saves. Two on breakaways. Stahl is back. It's four on four with ten seconds to go in the period. Tavares, checked there by Stahl. Rangers have three defensemen on the ice. Oposo's got it, blocked by Stahl. Oposo's got it again. Horn sounds. Period is over. The second period will start four on four, and eventually the Islanders will go back on the power play for 25 seconds. Sam, the goaltending in this first period was excellent on both ends. Lundqvist at the end. Hallock generally early. And here's a look at our Coke Zero super slow-mo replay. The shot by Tavares. As we mentioned, he worked all summer on his shot. Every aspect of shooting in Lundquist. What a save. Throws out the left pad. Makes a save on Tavares to keep this game tied after one. Islanders and Rangers tied 1-1. Rangers head off. We head to the studio to Al.
Sam, the Delta Intermission Report is straight ahead. We'll talk to one of the new Rangers, Lee Snipniak, as he gets his first taste of Islanders Rangers, especially a pretty intense first period. Kevin Marr will join us for the Audi MSG 150, taking us around the National Hockey League. And I'll be joined by Ron Dugay to break down the highlights in the first. It's all coming up in the Delta Intermission Report. Islanders Rangers, first of five this season. And it's got all the drama you expect and so many storylines to boot. Lee Stempniak when we come back on MSG. We are back, getting set for the second period, Rangers and Islanders. And this game is part of the Tri-State Challenge presented by Mazda. Of course, that involves the Rangers, the Islanders, and the Devils. This is the first meeting between any of those teams. Time for our Cadillac Trivia Quiz, Joe. Henrik Lundqvist has the third most shutouts all time against the Islanders, which two goalies have more. We'll answer that a little later on. I think you know the answer, don't you? I think I know you one. Have, I can tell when you, <laughs> when you ask the question yeah. whether you have a confident answer coming up. All right. We'll see how confidence reigns here in the second period. Rick Nash still in the penalty box for the Rangers. Johnny Boychuk in the Islanders penalty box. He'll be back out in 24 seconds, giving the Islanders a 25-second man advantage. Game tied 1-1. Rangers with Broussard, Zuccarello, McDonough, and Girardi. The Islanders, Tavares, Oposo, Hamannick, and Nick Letty. Yaro Halak out to get the puck. Oposo pressured by McDonough. Good aggressive play by McDonough. Hamannick to Letty. And on the ice is Boychuk. Five on four Islanders. Pass back intercepted by Broussard who clears. Smart play by Broussard anticipating where Tavares was going with the pass. Stempniak and Hanklin on with Stahl and Klein. Rick Nash set to return and he is back. Teams were full strength. Oposo's pass tipped by Tavares. Played by Boychuk. Nielsen shoots, stick the side by Lundqvist. Oposo to Tavares. Tavares trying to come out in front. Nash with a good job of checking him. Stempniak one-hands it out of the zone. Stempniak went down, fan reaction. No call on the play. Oposo carries in. Lost control. And Lundqvist covers up with Tavares just off to the side. A minute 18 into the second period. The game tied 1-1. Well, with, with Tavares, he, he's so dangerous with and without the puck because he's he's turned into, he's really developed as a tremendous leader for this team. And even watching those games against Carolina, when it got physical, he would jump in and come to the aid of some of his teammates. And that's something you didn't see out of him earlier in his career. Face-off win, Griffin Reinhardt playing it off the end boards for Sezikis. Nice play by Girardi. Played up the boards and out of the zone. That shoot in. Hit. Sezik is still in the zone on the offside Islanders. New York Rangers are encouraging kids to go skate as they host Tri Hockey for free lessons throughout the Tri State area. Beginners ages 10 and younger will receive a free on ice clinic and a chance to skate with a Rangers alumni. Yeah, Dave, Dave Maloney was at one of those about uh, 10 days ago or so and talked about the tremendous time that he had. A lot of four-year-old kids, five-year-olds, six years old, and he just, and all kinds of them. I Wonderful opportunity. <laughs> Free clinic think, for me? I think it's too late. <laughs> Dave Maloney can teach me how to skate. I think, I think he's going to pass. <laughs> so Zeke is down the boards. I'll give you a chair. <laughs> Moore in the play ahead and cleared out by Duclair. Sent in by Marty St. Louis. You know, with the penalties in that first period, both St. Louis and Duclair played less than five minutes each. That puck goes off the glass and out of play. 2-10 gone by here in the second period. Mark Stahl having a discussion with the linesman, I think, regarding where where he thought the face-off should have been. 
So offensive zone where it will be. Now he moves up along the boards on the far side. Broussard. Broussard's got Kreider directly behind right. him. I think he's going to try and win the faceoff straight back to Kreider so he can take the shot. He'll be trying to win the faceoff against Brock Nelson. Broussard had a look around while he was adjusting his jersey. Brock Nelson is chased. And in comes Mikhail Grabowski. Playing wing, but has been a center most of his life, Grabowski. Started his NHL career with Montreal, went to Toronto last season with Washington. Thomas Hickey battling along the boards. Kreider's centering feed taken away, brought out by Ryan Strom. Nice defensive play by Kevin Klein. Rangers turn it. Kreider moves in. Pass in front, went all the way through. Good effort by Kreider. Hickey did a good job of forcing Kreider to give up the puck. That shot by Strom, a glove save by Lundqvist, and he holds it. You know, the key for a defenseman is timing. If you're going to make the decision to slide and take away the shot or the pass, the timing has to be right. And it was perfect by Hickey. Hickey waited, and as soon as he saw Kreider look to his right, he slid. By the time Kreider looked up, nowhere to shoot, nowhere to pass. Real good defensive play. Franz Nielsen wins the draw. Played by Boychuk, who lost his stick. Kevin Hayes, a little movement from McDonough. Long pass intercepted by Boychuk. Right back into the Rangers zone. McDonough and Koska on the ice for the Rangers defense. Brought across by Hayes. He looks, he shoots. Good shot by Kevin Hayes. I like that play. That's what he's got to do a little bit more. Just take the shot when it's there. Again, he's such an unselfish player, and he thinks pass first. Good play by McDonough just to get it up the ice. And now Hayes, who has that size and the reach, if he can just go laterally, which he does, he, separate, he separates himself from the defender, and that allows him to take the shot. There you see the size. 6'5", 225. Moore, face-off win. Costa with the keep in. In deep, Ryan Malone tied up by Boychuk. Rangers have Moore, Malone, and Glass the line, the fourth line. Boychuk brings it in. Shot deflected by Costa up into the netting. 319 gone by here in the second period. 1-1 game. Sunday afternoon on MSG Plus. Check out New York soccer team as the Red Bulls take on the crew. Coverage gets underway with Red Bulls game night at 2.30. Red Bulls and crew Sunday afternoon on MSG+. Plus. There's Michael Koska, who's playing his first game for the Rangers. Kyle Poso set to take the face off against Marty St. Louis. St. Louis telling us this morning a lot more comfortable now at center. And there's a chance on the rebound off the lively carom off the end boards. And Lundquist makes a big save, hugging the post. Well, St. Louis was 4-1 on the faceoffs in the first period. 4-1 on the faceoffs in the first period of last game. Now this one is just a play where the Islanders do a good job getting getting their wings in there to help out on the faceoff. And then Lundquist has to be alert. Barris trying to get to the puck. Conacher is behind the net. McDonough able to set, slide it out of the zone all the way down wide of the net but no icing on the play and the Islanders send it back the other way and this will be an icing on the Islanders. Now that last face off we saw Tavares try to go back with the face off from the other side and then on his strong side on the forehand side instead of going back he went forward and nearly had a chance. Smart, smart player. Yarrow Halak, who let that last puck go wider than it, went out to talk to the linesman who asked why there wasn't an icing on the previous play. The island is called for the icing. Tavares now on the faceoff against Broussard. Reinhardt trying to play it ahead. Rangers block it. Ryder in front. Score! Derek Broussard! Off a great pass from Chris Kreider. And the Rangers lead 2-1. The importance of face-offs. 
The Rangers, right after the faceoff, work to get the puck back. Islanders win the faceoff. Rangers steal the puck, and then it's a bang-bang play. Kreider anticipates where the puck is going. A no-look pass in front. And Jack Capuano has an argument about something. He, I think that goes back to what you were saying about the ice. And let's go down to John Giano. John? That is exactly what they're talking about, guys. The Islanders bench actually wanted an explanation when the Rangers got the offside call. They didn't get an explanation. The referee just told them, not now, and almost made a gesture as if to say he was going to give them an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. I suspect at the next commercial break, they'll get their explanation. You know, you generally get a little bit more upset if you lose a faceoff and it ends up in your end, but they won the faceoff and then gave it up. Yeah. Rangers, second lead of the game. Broussard's second goal of the season from Kreider at 350. Kuhlman winds it around the boards to the other side. Down comes Hamidic, who fires nice block by Girardi with the stick. Hayes battling in the corner. Rangers have it. Girardi on the puck. Lifts it ahead. Bounces out to center. Hayes controls it. And he shoots just wide. Aglin for Zuccarello. Hayes has it. Hayes checked by Hickey. Zuccarello there to help out. Keeps it alive. Pass comes through to Klein. Now John Moore. And Thomas Hickey takes over. Lee Stepniak also got an assist on the goal by Broussard. Broussard from Kreider and Stepniak at 350. Rangers a 2-1 lead. Rick Nash got the Rangers' first goal in the first period. Nice pass from Duclair to San Luis. Try to lead Nash, and it turns into an icing. 5-14 gone by here in the second period. Okay, Sam, here, let's go back to the Rangers. This is McDonough. It looks like he's icing the puck. Throws it down the ice. Nash would not have been able to get there first, but it's waved off. I wasn't sure why it was waved off either. The goaltender stayed in the crease. If he leaves the crease, then they'll wave it off. But it was waved off. It might have been a pretty good argument. That shot deflects up in the netting. Boychuk taking the shot. And so then what happens right after that, right? There's an icing. On now the Islanders. the Islanders ice it. Yeah. So they wave off the icing against the Rangers. Islanders ice it. Face off in their end. Ends up in the net. St. Louis and Strom for the faceoff. St. Louis Duclair and Nash on for the Rangers. St. Louis wins this one into the corner. John Moore with a good job against Ryan Strom. Puck picked up. Played down low by Nelson for Strom. Rangers able to move it. Kept in by Boychuk. That went off Kevin Klein. Now Duclair for St. Louis. Back for Anthony Duclair. Boychuk against him. Brock Nelson lifts it ahead. Nash able to come over and knock it down. And Deep Halak out to play it. Grabowski played it back. Take away by Dominic Moore. Tried to get it in front. Grabowski gets knocked down. Big hit by Ryan Malone. Tosca checking Nick Letty, the Islander defenseman, in deep in the offensive zone. Malone, good pass. Dominic Moore with the shot deflected by Brian Strait. Out of play it goes. 6-20, gone by. Second period. And Malone was talked to by a couple of the Islanders after his hit. Matt Martin went over. Rangers, a goal by Derek Broussard off to the feed by Chris Kreider. Lead it 2-1. Rangers lead it 2-1. We're going to take another look at the non-icing call. Kyle Oposo reaches in with his stick. Does the puck hit his stick? When McDonough is trying to clear from that angle, it didn't look like it. But the linesman might have thought so. And so then right off the face of Islanders win it. Good job by Stepniak. Keeps it alive to Broussard. And then just a bang-bang play. And so then during the television timeout, Jack Capuano is getting an explanation from the linesman. He got an explanation. I don't think he liked it, but he got an explanation. Mike 
Costa with a shot saying Halak with Ryan Malone in front. And Joe, I know it's his first game as a Ranger, but Ryan Malone to me has been very noticeable every time he's on the ice. I like him. I like the way he's played. I'm glad he's getting an opportunity. He's playing the right the right wing, which is something that he'll say he'll play anywhere, but he's played, he's been mostly a left winger throughout his right. career. So he's worked a little bit on the right side. He said he's going to take the puck coming out of his zone a little differently depending on the defensive pressure. Stepniak shot blocked by Halak and he chips it again and the Halak able to make the save and hold on. Nice play by Lee Stepniak. You know, Lee Stepniak, if you look at these first four games, it's hard, you can't argue with Nash's goals, obviously. his five goals in four games. But Lee Stempniak, as far as his overall play, the way he skated, the way he's worked, he's killed penalties, played the power play, all those things have been very good. Stempniak tried to put it in front, backhanded ahead by Broussard. It was blocked again. Stempniak with another chance, deflected on goal. And it's Stempniak around the net and around the puck. Boy, boy, I'll tell you what, he is, he is all over the place. He is getting in on the four check. You just watch him here. Goes and gets the puck. Tries to make a play. Now he's got a nose for the net. There's a stick. Bang. He's got that quick release. And he forces Halak to make another good save. Or at least Stempniak has been good. With his assist tonight, it gave him a three-game point scoring streak. Two goals, two assists in the last three games. Stepping up, Kevin Klein. That was blocked away. And out of play it goes. 6.51 gone by here in the second period. Rangers lead it 2-1. to one. Rick Nash and Derek Broussard, the Rangers goal scorers. Islanders getting a power play goal from Johnny Boychuk. It's Mikhail Grabowski. And John Moore lining up for the faceoff. Moore and Klein on defense. Kevin Hayes and Brock Nelson. Hayes did a good job, used the body well to block off Nelson. And the Rangers able to gain possession. Boychuk bumped by Zuccarello. Islanders come out, Letty. With a long shot, kicked away. Tough shot by Letty. And Lundqvist had a, bit, a tough left pad save. Letty, Letty's got a lot of offensive skill. Wonderful skater, and you could see right there what kind of shooter he is. Haglin with a rookie Griffin Reinhardt on him. Penalty. Haglin's speed caused Reinhardt to wrap him up. It's a holding call. The Rangers get a power play. I, th I think Haglin came off the bench and surprised Reinhardt. Reinhardt just the rookie, and it looked to me either just snuck behind him or he came off the bench. And then Reinhardt at that point didn't have good defensive positioning against him. And Haglin with that speed, here he comes. And now, and now Reinhardt's got a chase. And a good job by Haglin. You see what he did to draw the penalty? He slid into him. He moved right, so he moved right into the body of Reinhardt. And the only, the only thing he could do was hold on. And so the Rangers with a power play chance. Power play 0 for 1 had four shots on goal. The Rangers have Ryan Malone with Duclair, St. Louis, Nash, and McDonough. This Rangers power play presented by Volkswagen. Islanders take it away. Out comes Casey Sezikis. Sezikis with Clutterbuck, Hickey, and Hamadick. And the Islanders now change all four. Off the stick of St. Louis. Ryan straight. St. Louis on him. Ryan Malone trying to work it loose. Malone gets it back to Rick Nash. Now McDonough. Across to St. Louis. To Nash. Malone set up in front. McDonough fakes. Moves and shoots wide. And the puck goes to the line. Good hustle by Nash to keep in. St. Louis to McDonough. And the shot saved. The rebound saved. Halak. He stopped Duclair on the first shot. And Malone on the second. Nash to St. Louis. Rangers have moved the puck well on the power play. Have kept it in the offensive zone. Nash shoots. It hit his man in front. Malone. McDonough's pass. Blocked. McDonough. For Nash. It was tipped. Nash able to keep in. Kelly killers are tired out. McDonough down low. Save. Another save by Halak. 
as he stopped Malone twice. A lock clears it out of the crease. Duclair's got it. Look at the Islanders standing there. Can't skate. They're out of gas. A pass out of the zone. It bounced over the stick of Malone. Or rather, McDonough. He comes right back in, but it's intercepted and cleared. Good play by Kuhlman, Nikolai Kuhlman with the intercept. Uh, Nielsen took a chance by making a change when the Rangers had control of the puck. Kuhlman was the player that came on the ice and then made the play. And Josh Bailey with an excellent job in the Rangers zone as they kill off the final seconds. Rangers with a strong effort, but not able to cash in. Three shots on goal on that power play. Broussard goes deep. Save, Halak. Rebound, save! As he stopped Kreider on the rebound. Rangers getting some great chances. Halak has been outstanding. That puck deflects out of play. 9.48 gone by here in the second. Well, this started on the power play. The Rangers had the puck. The Islanders were pinned in their own zone. The Rangers just kept on moving it. Shot from in front. That was Duclair. Didn't get everything on the first one. So Malone was able to get the rebound and then gets another opportunity. At this point, the Islanders are gassed, those players that were on the ice. And then one more chance. The quick shot, a lot kicked that one out. How about the rebound? It was a good position to stop Kreider. Shots 24-16, Rangers. Rangers, 13 shots here in the second period in the first 10 minutes of the period. Two to one, Rangers leading. Haglin stopped by Conacher. Played ahead by Hayes, but Hamannick sends it out. Here come the Rangers back in. Haglund shoots. Save Hala. Haglund with the rebound. Blocked by Hamannick. Tavares. And it's taken away by Stepniak. Hickey has it back for the Islanders. Pressure there. Turned it over to Haglund. Hayes did a good job forcing the turnover. It's out of the zone and Stahl recovers. Islanders have had only four shots on goal here in the second period. Rangers the only goal of the period. Tavares pressured by Tanner Glass. Alaposo moves in. Alaposo cuts it and shoots. Save by Lundquist. Oh, Alaposo, boy, does he have a tough shot. Whistle for a penalty. And we'll check this one out. It's a hooking call. A couple of players down on the ice. Alaposo is hurting. We'll be right back. Rangers lead it by a goal. They've had chances. Halak has been great in goal for the Islanders. And Kyle Oposo, good, strong power move here. Watch 17 get taken down. That's Matt Martin gets taken down by Dominic Moore. That's the hooking penalty against Moore and the Rangers. And this power play for the Islanders goes back to work. And that puts the Rangers in the danger zone. Islanders scored on their first power play of the game. Johnny Boychuk. Oposo, Tavares, Nelson, Nielsen, and Boychuk for the Islanders. Rangers send out Broussard, Haglin, McDonough, and Girardi. Here's Nielsen. High with a shot off the glass. Tavares to Oposo. Now Franz Nielsen, Johnny Boychuk. Nielsen again. Haglin in front of him. Boychuk. Tavares. McDonough. Checking him. Tavares through to Nielsen. Back to Tavares who missed the shot. McDonough to Girardi. And the puck up the boards and out of the zone. And off the boards, taken back by McDonough. Now Broussard sends it down the ice. Rangers get back onside. The Islanders head up ice. A minute 15 to go on the power play. Boychuk. Oposo after it. Stahl is there. Stahl poking at it. Kevin Klein on defense. Tavares pass intercepted. Stepniak breaks out. Stepniak joined by Tanner Glass. Boy truck back. Save Halak. Stepniak again. Two men on him. Good effort by Lee Stempiak. Borchuk's tired as well. He's having a tough time. He's been out for the entire power play. He's trying to get off the ice now for a change. Tavares has been out there as well, but good pressure by Rick Nash. Tavares has it again. Nick Letty through to Tavares. It's by him. Clyde and Stahl. Stahl takes over. And Stahl carries with Carl Haglund. Nick Letty is there. 
Stahl maintains possession. Good effort by Mark Stahl. Three Islanders able to pump it free. Pump it free and they take over. Grabowski. Bailey on goal save and then they ran into the goaltender. Heineker bumped Lundquist. And Lundquist went hard against the post. Power play is over. Good penalty kill by the Rangers. One shot on goal for the Islanders. 7.05 to go in the second. Rangers leading 2-1. Islanders one for four on the power play of the game. Girardi with a hit on Grabowski that brought a roar from the crowd. St. Louis. Save Halak. There's a rebound. Grabowski takes it. Grabowski got it back from Sezikis. There's Casey Sezikis. His pass intercepted. McDonough broke out. McDonough and Hayes. Hayes moves in. Hayes fakes. Shoots wide. Costco with a drive that's knocked down in front. And it's cleared. Oh, Kevin Hayes came very close, close to scoring his first NHL goal. He drops it back. John Moore shot is wide. Take it back by Zuccarello. Here's Hayes. Fires it back. That shot, the deflection and a save. Great deflection by Kreider in front. And Halak with another great save. Oh, is there action here? What a game. You talk about skating, shooting, opportunities, goaltending, a little bit of everything. Here's Lundqvist first, stops Grabowski. And then Conacher trying to get out of the way, makes some contact. And then this interception, watch Hayes steal it with his right foot. And now has this chance, does everything right, and just can't finish it off. And then one more, Hayes again gets it to the point. And there's the shot and no rebound. Rangers have had 17 shots on goal here in the second period. Islanders, six. Rangers have the only goal of the period and lead two to one. But kept in by John Moore. Stepney Ack left it there. Ryder getting it back to Tosca. Now it's Moore. Deep to Broussard. Ryder's in front. Hamannick checking Broussard. Broussard takes it back to John Moore. Blocked in front by Hickey. Halak covers up. 5.49 to go. Second period. It's been a good second period for the Rangers. They lead it 2-1. The upcoming schedule is brought to you by Lexus, the official luxury vehicle of the New York Rangers. Thursday night, Carolina Hurricanes are here. Sunday, late afternoon, San Jose Sharks who are leading, looking for the third win in a row down in Washington. And then Tuesday, Rangers at the Devils, all games on MSG. Hope you'll join us. Rangers playing a lot of home games to start the season. After that road game at New Jersey, they'll play a road game in Montreal, then come home for four straight. This is the second game of four straight home games. How about those San Jose Sharks? They haven't given up a goal yet this season. I know, where do they have? 3-0 three nothing three tonight? 3-0 nothing in Washington. They've scored 10 and, and haven't given up a goal. And the Emmy and... has had one of the shutouts. All right. Straylock? Straylock, the other. Right. Thank you, Sam. I was just testing you. <laughs> you passed. Duclair tried to set up St. Louis. Duclair stays with it. Another good move. Help from St. Louis. Here's Stahl. Marty St. Louis. Sets up Costco, shot it high. Islanders clear out. Nikolai Kuhlman. Saved by Lundquist. Costco. Taken away by Kuhlman. And Tavera scores. A huge turnover by the Rangers. Kuhlman sets up Tavares, and it's a 2-2 game. The Rangers have dominated this period. Halak has kept this game close. And then you give the wrong person the right chance. There's the turnover. That was a soft pass from Costa, trying to make a little finesse play. And that just goes, and Kuhlman was there, and you gave the wrong guy the chance. Mm. John Tavares, we mentioned earlier, Samuel, every summer he, he picks a particular part of his game to improve on. This summer, he did nothing but shoot the puck. All aspects of shooting. 
And it's paying off. That's his second. Well, you know how frustrated he was having to sit out the last half of the season. Uh, the last 23, of the season. Yeah, 23 games. Tanner Glass against Travis Hamadick. Tavares gets his second of the season from Kuhlman at 15.03 to tie the game. Girardi in deep. Ryan Malone. Here's Dominic Moore. Comes out in front off the post. Girardi moves around Matt Martin. Fires in front for Dominic Moore. And that shot was blocked. Might have gotten through to Halak. McDonough. Coordinated and a deflection of save. Malone is hooked down. Penalty call. And again, this line with Ryan Malone playing very well. And look at Matt Martin trying to goad him into retaliating. That's not happening. Not with Malone at this point. He just does the right thing and stays there. The Rangers have been so much better in front of the net in this game than they had been in the previous game. There's the hook as Malone was trying to get to a rebound. And then Martin tries to get him to go to the box with him. That doesn't happen. And so the Rangers, 4 6 to go in period number two with a chance to break the tie. Rangers' power play is not scored, but they've had seven shots on goal on their two power plays. Thomas Hickey for hooking at 15-54. In tied 2-2, Broussard, Zuccarello, Kreider, Stempiak, and Girardi start the power play. Rangers control, Girardi. Tip comes to Broussard, back to Zuccarello. Behind the net, Brian straight checks Kreider. Boychuk with a takeaway, fires it out. Girardi back to get it. Boy, how about the minutes Boychuk gets now for the Islanders? He's playing almost 24 minutes a game, power play. Now out there on the penalty kill. Islanders doing a good job slowing the Rangers down. And that puck deflected in the crowd on Chris Kreider's stick. 326 remaining here in the second. Thursday night on MSG, Rick Nash will try to keep his goal scoring streak going as the Rangers take on the Carolina Hurricanes. Live coverage begins at 6.30 with Visa Rangers game night with Al Trotwig and then the Rangers and Hurricanes Thursday night hockey on MSG presented by Ram. And we saw a report earlier that Jeff Skinner might play in that game for Carolina. He's been dealing with a concussion and he practiced today and there's a chance he might be back in the lineup for Carolina. Rick Nash sets up. Ryan Malone in front. Duclair at the edge of the circle. Nash. Duclair save. McDonough. St. Louis. And it's tipped away by Kuhlman. Damn, that was the 20th shot for the Rangers in this period. 31 for the game. McDonough. Dropping it back. Rick Nash. Leads St. Louis. Louis against Letty. Letty did a good job. Hamannick fires around the boards and goes out of play. Well, there you see the skating ability of Letty because St. Louis, as we know, is quick and has speed. And he thought he had Letty beaten to the outside, but Letty, a terrific skater, gets back in a hurry. Right side of your screen, watch a little bacon, and there he goes. But here comes Letty. He just turns and gets positioned on St. Louis immediately, takes him out of the play, and they tried to clear the puck, but it goes over the glass. Face-off inside the Islanders' end. Broussard won the face-off. McDonough to Broussard. Kreider set up in front. That's tipped off the stick of Girardi. Went wide. Driven out of the zone by Boychuk. 20 seconds to go on the Rangers' power play. McDonough leads Broussard. Broussard dumps it down the boards for Stempiak. Boychuk gets there. Using the body to shield the puck away from the Rangers. Poked loose by Broussard. Islanders clear and the power play is over. One shot on goal on that power play. Pass in front for Clutterbuck was broken up by McDonough. Game tied 2-2. A minute 50 seconds remaining in the second period. Rick Nash 
and Derek Brassard have scored for the Rangers. Johnny Boychuk and John Tavares have scored for the Islanders. Stall back for the puck. Fans got a let's go Rangers chant going. Hayes leaves it for Klein. Off the outside of the net. Hayes has it again. Zuccarello winds up. Big drive blocked by Conacher. Broke his stick. Blocking the shot. Tavares has it with a minute 10 to go in the period. Brought in by Kyle Oposo for John Tavares. Nice job by San Luis. Oposo's got it back. Last minute of the play. Under a minute to go in the second. Kevin Klein trying to get away from Grabowski. And Rick Nash brings it in. Plays it deep. Hamaday. All the way down it goes. And it'll be an icing on the Islanders. 41.1 remaining in the second period. I wonder if Jack Capuano is going to use his, his timeout. That line's been out there for a while. 2-2 game late in the second period. The answer is no. No. Face-off win by Marty San Luis. They've got to try to keep it in. They've got out of the zone. Andrews touch up. And onside, Travis Hamannick leads Grabowski. Strong sending it deep. Lundqvist waiting. Pokes at it. Strong. Send the lead battling. They've done a good pass to Nash. Nash with Duclair. Duclair against Hickey. Shoot, save. Good shot by Duclair. And another tough save by Yarrow Halak. That puck got by Grabowski all the way down. And played by Girardi. And the period comes to an end. Boy, that was some period. Rangers, 21 shots on goal. Tremendous action. Yarrow Halak, the story of the period. Yeah, I mean, the Islanders are going to go in to the locker room after this period feeling good that they, when they look at the scoreboard it being 2-2, Halak was, was the story of the period without question. Down to Al in the studio. Al, what's coming up? Well, Sam, what's coming up is the New York Lottery Intermission Report, and we'll talk with Ryan Malone, who had to wait three games before he got his first New York Ranger chance. He'll join us in between periods two and three. Kevin Mars got the MSG 150 across the street in our Visa MSG studios, and then I'll be joined by Ron Duguay to break down all the highlights. It's all coming up on the New York Lottery Intermission Report right here on MSG. Ryan McDonough and the Rangers pretty much dominant in that second period, but no edge to show for it on the scoreboard. A bad giveaway changed that period. Welcome back to Madison Square Garden, getting set for the third period between the Rangers and the Islanders, part of the Tri-State Challenge presented by Mazda. Now it's time to answer the Cadillac Trivia Quiz. Henrik Lundqvist, the third most shutouts against the Islanders all time. Five. Which two goalies have more? Mike Richter. Okay. John Van Beesbrook. Okay. Oh, any team. I thought it was just Rangers. Oh, I'm told it's any team. All right, then we're going well, to change We're going to have everything. to come back at the end of the third period. Marty Brodeur and Jose Theodore. Well, those were obvious. <laughs> oh, I those were the obvious just answers. Rangers. Well, wow, that's what I thought. I mean, that, that was an easier question than what we thought. All right, let's get back to the real stuff. John Giannone talked with old Samuelson. John, what'd you find out? I was going to say exactly that. But anyway, uh, Ophi, I asked. Him, hey, fair to say there's frustration in the room, and he said, "Yes, quote, we've got to keep working though." When you, there are a lot of times when you don't get rewarded, as he said, with 21 shots and only one goal. He said, "A lot of times you're almost ready for a goal against." That's how we were. He said, "But I still feel there's confidence in the room that we are going to have the same kind of period we had in the second, and we're going to emerge victorious." Thanks, John. Underway, third period. Malone able to get it out to Dominic Moore, who was stopped by Matt Barton. The puck back in the Ranger zone. Lundqvist reaches out to play it. You know, and Michael Tosca, who had the mistake, gets out there first shift of the third period. The coach I think, wants to give him a little confidence and say, just because you made one mistake, that's not the end of the night for you. Tosca and stalled the defensive pair. 
Rangers and Carolina Hurricanes Thursday night here at the Garden. And then Sunday at 5 p.m., Rangers and the San Jose Sharks. Sharks finally gave up some goals. A giveaway, and Oposo scores! And for the second time in the game, Rangers with a costly giveaway in their own zone. There were two giveaways within three seconds. You'll see the first one coming up. Tavares is going to steal it right here. That's one, and then Koska again gives it away. He tries to make a pass. Wow. That is a nightmarish debut as a Ranger for Michael it, Koska. It sure is. I'm not sure how much more confidence a coach is going to have. Kyle Laposo is first of the season. Boy, you give up, you give up two pucks to two world-class yeah. players. And they're in the net. For Kyle Oposo, as Joe mentioned, goal number one of this season, goal number 100 of his career. And the Islanders have the lead for the first time in the game. It's three to two, opening minute of play in the third period with a goal 48 seconds. And the Rangers have to find the way. Duclair was pressured, able to get it to McDonough slides it out of the zone. Boy, what a hit by Conacher. Conacher's not a big player, but did he ever run into Dan Girardi behind the net? Letty brings it in, goes all the way, coast to coast, save, Lundqvist, rebound, save! Oh, Lundqvist with two huge saves. Where'd the third one go? He might have stopped that one as well. Fired in by Broussard. The Islanders have come out and jumped all over the Rangers here. Well, the, the giveaway and the goal, Sam, has really sparked the Islanders now. Oposo got the goal unassisted at 48 seconds. Kreider pressuring Brock Nelson. Shot by Broussard, deflects off the glass. Girardi in deep to get it. Fires on goal, kicked away by Halak. Good play by Dan Girardi. Stall avoids the hip check attempt by Griffin Reinhardt. Stopped by Zuccarello. Finds Stahl. Stahl looks at the net. Shoots, save, Halak. No rebound. Two, 22 gone by here in the third. Boy, what a, what a couple of wonderful chances by the, by the Islanders. And Henrik Lundqvist, that's Nick Letty. One save, and then that one was just a beauty. And then with that open net, a third chance, Chris Kreider comes back and makes a wonderful defensive play. Lundqvist one, Lundqvist two, look at that net, Brock Nelson thinks he has a wide open net, Chris Kreider with the defensive play to keep this a one goal game. Hayes on the face off against Nielsen, Hayes jumped the gun, he's sent out, and Carl Haglin in. Nielsen wins the face off. Islanders lead three to two as they Look for their third win in a row to start the season. Rangers trying to stop an early season losing streak. Haglin for Zuccarello and off the skate. Haglin took a hit from Travis Hamannick. John Moore. Moore takes it from Zuccarello. Moore is paired with McDonough here on the fence. On goal, stopped by Halak. Now Kevin Hayes for Haglund. Haglund working against Martin. The puck is left behind. Here's Zuccarello moving in. Stick handling in. Peels back. Zuccarello toward the net. Looking for deflection from Haglund. Haglund got pulled down by Hamannick. Was looking for a call. Nothing called on the play. And Martin was stopped by John Moore. Sezikis moves in, sets up Martin, shot it wide. With Clutterbuck causing all kinds of problems in the crease for Henrik Lundqvist. Tavares just off the bench. McDonough on him. Conacher taken down by Zuccarello. Conacher back in the play. Zuccarello checks in. Tavares has a goal in the game. Nash and Broussard have scored for the Rangers. 
Boychuk, Tavares, and Oposo for the Islanders. Oposo lifts it in. Girardi after it. Conacher got a piece of it. Girardi and Stahl are paired here on defense. The problem the Islanders had a year ago is they gave up a lot of leads in the third period. Where te they allowed teams back in or come back to win. Give away to San Luis. The net was wide open, but no Ranger in front. And the Islanders able to bring it down. Oposo to Tavares. His pass blocked. Good play by Duclair. Girardi able to move it to Nash. Stopped by Brian Strait. 440 gone by in the third. Islanders with a, a goal in the first minute of play here in the third to take the lead all along in front. Brock Nelson scores. The Islanders have scored three unanswered goals. And now lead four to two. Brock Nelson continues to score. There's the quick puck movement. Brock Nelson was all alone in front. Lundqvist couldn't reach the puck. Moore goes one way. And Brock Nelson just finds himself in front. Duclair was close, but not close enough. Gets a piece of the stick and Brock Nelson just shoots through it. That's how strong he is. Shoots right through the stick of Duclair. Nelson's fourth goal of the season. A great start for him this season. His second in the NHL. And the Islanders have really turned this game around. Broussard, deep for Stepniak. Nelson from Strom and Grabowski at 450. Here's Grabowski down low. Nelson and it deflected in off Kevin Klein. Wow. Everything that can go wrong is going wrong right. for the Rangers. Right. Again, after that second period, the Islanders had to feel like, boy, they're, they're, we've got a chance to be to, to win this game because of our goaltender. Totally outplayed in the second period. Yet they get a late goal to tie it 2-2. And then here in the third, I mean, everything is working. Stay on side, two on one, an attempted pass goes off the stick of Klein and in. The Islanders with two goals in 30 seconds. Three goals here in the third period. Lead it five to two. The Rangers have to find a way to collect themselves and start to mount a comeback. Stahl and Costa paired on defense. Costa has been guilty of two giveaways that have led to Islander goals. Pullman gets it in the corner. That shot saved. Knocked down with a glove by Lundquist on the shot by Sezikis. Letty around the boards for Clutterbuck. Past the six minute mark in the third period. And the Islanders with a 5 2 lead. Saloui sends in. That hit the referee. It's played by Nash. Nash checked by Hickey. Nash driving toward the net. Hickey stays with him. Good job by Thomas Hickey. That was an excellent defensive play. He wouldn't give up on the much bigger Nash. Clutterbuck saved by Lundquist. 6.33 gone by. Third period. Clutterbuck in the middle of things with Ryan McDonough. The Islanders. Getting three goals here in the third period. In the first minute, it was Kyle Laposo. Then it was Brock Nelson, and 30 seconds after him, Grabowski. Well, that man right there, Lane Vigneault, talked this morning about the play away from the puck and through just about two periods. They had, they had played well. Their forecheck was there. Defensively, they had done a good job in front of the net, which has been an issue was taken care of and then a couple of costly turnovers a couple of terrible turnovers and that led to a couple of quick goals and everything changed nelson got his fourth from stroman grabowski at 450 then grabowski got his second
from Strom at 5.20. Two goals in 30 seconds. Grabowski a goal and an assist in the game. Strom with two assists in the game. And Lundqvist tried to stop play. The puck popped loose. Zizekas gets it back to the point. Long shot by Hickey went wide. And set back in by Matt Martin. Rangers have John Moore and Kevin Klein paired on defense. Hey, Zuccarello and Haglin on. Haglin with a puck, a poso on him. Nice move by Carl Haglin. On goal, Halak steers it to the corner. Rangers have 36 shots on goal in the game. That shot toward the net, a deflection went wide. Hayes trying to get a piece of it. Here's Haglin trying to wrap around. It was stopped by Letty. Hamadik's pass tipped by McDonough. Oposo was stopped by Zuccarello. And Tavares almost had a chance in front. McDonough with a good recovery when Girardi had trouble with the puck. Letty heads up ice. Tavares, good play. A takeaway to shot by Grabowski. Goes wide. And again, the Rangers forced into mistakes. That was an aggressive play by Tavares. Almost led to a goal. Koska for Kreider. And the quick shot of the three goals for the Islanders early in this period have quieted the crowd here at the yeah. Garden. And I was just thinking the same thing, Sam. I mean, there was a buzz in here for yeah. two periods that's disappeared. Ryan Malone gets a good shot off. Koska shot is saved by Halak. Two good shots. And Halak responding with good saves. Costa again. And stopped by Brock Nelson who gets it out of the zone. Stall right back in. And offside was whistled. 11-19 to go in the third period. John Damaris. Some pain on the bench. If he didn't get slashed. He made the defensive play. He stole the puck. You see him steal the puck. Yeah, it they jammed his hand or yeah. his wrist, it looked like. And they put on it the down play. on the ice. Yeah. Franz Nielsen pressured by Marty St. Louis. St. Louis almost took it away. Pass by Hickey gets through. There's Hamannick. One push pushes it to John Moore. Rangers turn it. Hamannick able to keep it in again. Klein for Anthony Duclair. Duclair going against Hamidic, who did a good job, and the Islanders turn it the other way. Nielsen. There's Koska. Stalls pass tipped ahead by Kreider. Coming down to the midway point, third period. Islanders with a 5-2 lead. Rangers led 1-0 and 2-1. The Islanders have scored four unanswered goals. Broussard, three on two across. Islanders even things out. Kreider behind the net. Set up in front for Stepniak. He couldn't tee up a shot. And McDonough's got it. John Tavares back on the ice for the Islanders. Haglin, the back pass for McDonough goes by him. He recovers. Rangers have to get on side. Funny, Joe, how things were going so well and then a few mistakes creep into the Rangers game, well, especially when you've made mistakes the, the past few games and you've heard about it and so it doesn't take much you know at all to kind of lose that kind of confidence that you need McDonough for Zuccarello it went by him kept in by Letty to Tavares you know what the Islanders have stayed aggressive since taking the lead Letty scores Conacher was in front I don't know if he tipped it 
But the big shot by Nick Letty found its way in. And it is six to two, Islanders. Well, they, they haven't, they took the lead and they didn't back up. They stayed aggressive and kept skating and kept forechecking. And they're just adding to their lead. And all the work in the offensive zone. Tavares. He'll throw it back to the point. Here it comes. I think it just went past everybody. It looked to me like it hit the near side post and went in. Well, similar to Sunday night, Rangers had good some good play early, and then the game fell apart on them in the second period. Here it's fallen apart in the third period. Yeah, I, I think that you know they they've looked like a much better team in the first two periods than they did on Sunday night, and, and now they can't do anything right. Islanders with four goals here in the third have taken a six to two lead and they scored five straight goals in this game. Puck taken away from Kevin Klein. Nelson plays it wide in the net. Grabowski chases it down. And John Moore and Klein able to move up with the puck. Letty gets his first as a New York Islander. Tavares gets an assist. 10.59 the time of the goal. Tavares a goal and an assist in the game. Stall. All the way down, race for the puck. Good hustle by Malone. Wipes off what would have been an icing. Last for Malone. Malone against the rookie Griffin Reinhardt. Shot by Stahl was stopped by Halak. Reinhardt for Kuhlman and across to Letty. That's 40 shots now for the Rangers in this game, and it can't be overlooked. The the play of Halak, the goaltender. Mm. In that second period. In that second, he was even good in the first period. He let in that soft one by Nash on a, on a bad angle shot. But he is he has really been sharp. Rangers had 21 shots on goal in the second period. Scored a goal in the period and led two to one until the, until the Islanders tied it late in the period. And it scored four here. Long shot by Boychuk and wide. Derek Broussard. His pass tipped. Oh, for not even. May have been Tavares. Got a piece of that. Hamannick. 6.45 to go in the third. The Rangers, they have time here at home. They have home games coming up Thursday and Sunday. There'll be practice time. As they try to get things right and continue to work on their game, looking for a complete game. Hayes, nice pass through to Haglund. Haglund for Zuccarello. The shot partially blocked by Hamannick. And Tavares takes over. Hayes was blocked by Hamannick. And Michael Koska goes back to get it. Coming up, the Foxwoods Final Five. Foxwoods, excitement every day. Ryan Strom, who's had a couple of assists in the game. Islanders have some good young players that are developing nicely. Brock Nelson, Ryan Strom coming along. Puck deflects out of play. 5.43 to go. Third period. Islanders with a big 6-2 lead. He now has a place in Vancouver, and his mom and dad made the trip here. Nice. Yeah, Fred and Kathy. And Fred is on this quest to visit every NHL arena in the National Hockey League. He's got eight remaining now on this quest. Okay. And he's going to save the Bell Center in Montreal for the 30th and final visit. Oh, nice. So, I hope it's a Rangers. Around. Is it going to be a Rangers Montreal I would, game? I would, think that, I would think that he will try and plan that properly. Good. Well, we'll give him proper. Kudos when he does that. 
Costa for stall. Rangers and Carolina Hurricanes Thursday night here at the Garden. We'll be on the air at 6.30 with Visa Rangers game night without traveling. 7 o'clock, Rangers and the Hurricanes. Rangers have now given up 17 goals in the last three games. That is not Rangers hockey. Who would have thunked it, right? New way. Not with Lundqvist and the way they put. But you know what? You make mistakes and you give the puck away and you don't play as a as a team defensively. Too many good teams in the league. They're not going to win. The Islanders in their three games have now scored 15 goals with the six tonight. 4.38 to go. Islanders with a big lead. The game recap brought to you by your Tri Honda dealers. Rick Nash has a four game goal scoring streak going. He kept it alive with a first period goal. Kyle Poso scoring his 100th career goal. And the Islanders scoring four goals here in the third period and two of them in the 30 second span. First time in his career allowing six goals in back to back starts. As we said, that's not Ranger-like. That's not Henrik Lundqvist-like. So the Rangers have to uh, collect themselves before the Carolina game Thursday. Carolina is trailing Buffalo in Carolina 2-1. to one. They lost their first two games to the Islanders. And a high stick touching the puck. Blue Shirts fans, secure your pass to Rangerstown. Individual game tickets are available for Thursday, October the 16th, against the Carolina Hurricanes. For great seats, be sure to visit NewYorkRangers.com. Rangers, 40 shots on goal in the game. Other scores around the league of note the devils are leading tampa bay one nothing in the third period at tampa bay devils looking for their third win in a row flyers are three three with anaheim in philadelphia and san jose is leading in washington five three san jose giving up their first goals of the season Gotten off to a great start. San Jose will be here Sunday at 5 p.m. Ryan Malone. Letty pressure there. Play glass and more. Boychuk helps out. Costa off the boards. Taken back by Sezikis. Tangled up with the referee. Glass able to get it to Moore. Stopped by Nick Letty. Zuccarello, nice move. Rangers are changing. Zuccarello going one against four. And the Islanders. There's a chance for Hayes and a save by a lot. Kevin Hayes again coming close. He's yeah. getting some chances. He, is. he had a good chance there and made a real good move. Going to his right and then pulling the puck back to his left right there. Good sharp move. That was against Travis Hamanek, who's a real good defensive defenseman. You're watching the Foxwoods Final Five. Foxwoods excitement every day. Visit foxwoods.com now. 45 to go. Hayes trying to push it back to McDonough. Oposo takes it away. Oposo and Conacher move in. Good recovery by McDonough. We're already able to get it to Zuccarello. Andrews just not clicking on all cylinders. They had some good moments, some really good moments in the second period. And some good moments. In the first period as well. Well, they got to they got to score a key goal too when they when they play like that. Again, their their power play is on an over to start the yeah. season. Nash, he scores. Rick Nash continues with a hot stick. His second of the game, his sixth of the season. Wow, he is he skating 
and protecting the puck. Yeah. Beautiful pass from Duclair. I mean, that was a thing of beauty. St. Louis to Duclair, and then Duclair with the perfect pass. And there's that release by Rick Nash. Wow, what a start. Six goals on the season. Now the Rangers have to find a way to keep the puck out of the net. The three goals, right? Not bad. Rick Dan, no, he red hot. Three goals in a game. In most cases, the Rangers are going to win with one oh. in, in goal. He's always said, "Get me three, and we'll have a good chance to win." Even two, always been. But they needed, they needed a way to make it three-one in the second period. And couldn't get that done. Those two power plays that they had earlier in the game were good. They were. They did everything but score. They moved the puck around. They were able to get shots. This line continues to come up with points. Nash getting the goal second of the game from Duclair and St. Louis at 1750. Anthony Duclair with three assists in his young NHL career. No goals yet. Marty St. Louis picking up another assist, giving him four on the season. Under a minute to go in the game. Islanders will go to 3-0. The Rangers will be 1-3. And a three-game losing streak for the Rangers. Which will try to break Thursday night against the Carolina Hurricanes. Where do you start, Joe, to, to rebuild the, the confidence and get that and defensive feeling? Listen, they're, they're going to go back to work on, on the mistakes they make. And, you know, they were better just through, two, through just about two periods. But you can't make egregious giveaways with the puck. When John Tavares is on the ice and Oposto is on the ice, you can't make those types of, of giveaways and expect to win. A giveaway at 15:03 of the second period turned the game around, and then to start the third period yeah. in the opening minute. Opening minute. I mean, they were innocent-looking plays with oh. control of the puck. A lock making a save as the final horn sounds. Little pushing and shoving. Ryan Malone involved with Brian Strait. And things settle down, but disappointment for the Rangers once again. Henrik Lundqvist heads off. The Islanders with four goals in the third period break the game open and beat the Rangers in the first meeting of the season between these two teams, 6-3. to three. Well, that was the man right there, Yarrow Halak, who was with St. Louis until he got traded last year to Washington, he was a free agent, and... Uh, Ended up in Buffalo as well, yep. right? So he was with three teams last year, but he he stood tall when the Rangers had the best part of their game going for for quite a period of time. And Halak was there to keep the game close until they forced the Rangers into mistakes and won it going away. Coming up, it's Mercedes-Benz Rangers postgame with complete postgame coverage. Al Trotwig and Ron Duguay in the studio. Dave Maloney will join Joe up here in the booth. We'll hear from the head coach, Elaine Vigneault, and John Ginone's got the locker room covered with player interviews all coming up on Mercedes-Benz Rangers postgame. Yaro Halak, 40 saves. Islanders beat the Rangers 6-3. We'll be right back.